on October 3rd of last year, we sowed cover crops in no-till plots and in conventional we left the soil bare. And so during the winter, the cover crops grew very lush and of course the conventional was basically just a few weeds. May 6th, the soil is prepared in the conventional plot. We took uh, my subsurface tiller transplanter, which is equipped to plant into very high residues. A lot of the residues were three, four, five feet high. Planted a twin row of, of potatoes right through the, the residues. And we put the seed pieces about five inches deep in the raised bed. And the transplanter virtually knocks over the majority of the residues. After about two and a half to three weeks, we will take a flail mower and keep it quite close to the ground, just as the uh, potatoes are emerging through the soil. We'll then mow off anything that's still growing. And at that point, it basically controls all the, the living residue. And the plants then quickly emerge at that stage. And in two weeks, you have two beautiful rows of potatoes, about foot tall and within another three to four weeks you have complete canopy closure. We will harvest this crop in the next two or three weeks and we've had great great luck uh, with this with this system. The conventional uh, has not proven to be the best treatment. In fact the no-till has out yielded the conventional on an average of 17 percent over the last eight or nine years. Another beneficial effect is that no-till mulch controls Colorado potato beetle. And we've seen it year after year that in these thick residues, the, the, the Colorado potato beetles simply do not thrive in these plots.